30 Dog de Bordeaux facts every owner should know. Number 1. Courageous and Affectionate The Dog de Bordeaux, also known as the French Mastiff, is a large and powerful dog breed with distinct features. Adult males typically stand between 23 and a half and 27 inches tall at the shoulder, weighing at least 110 pounds, while females are usually smaller, standing 23 to 26 inches tall and weighing a minimum of 99 pounds. Number 2. One of the most defining traits of the Dog de Bordeaux is its massive head, which is believed to be the largest in proportion to its body among all dog breeds. In males, the head size matches their shoulder height, while in females, it's slightly smaller. Number 3. Their face shows distinctive folds and loose skin, creating wrinkles, particularly around the face and neck. These deep wrinkles are flexible, changing based on the dog's attention. A common characteristic, however, is the wrinkle extending from the inner corner of the eye to the corner of the mouth. Number 4. The Dog de Bordeaux has small ears positioned high on the head, slightly hanging away from it. They are a shade darker than the coat, and when the dog is attentive, the front edge is close to the cheek. The ear tips are rounded and should not extend past the eye. Number 5. The Dog de Bordeaux's coat is short, fine and velvety to the touch, showing off fawn shades ranging from light to rich reddish mahogany. They might have white patches, and a black or brown mask is typical. Even without a clear mask, their muzzle might have a redder tone compared to the rest of the coat. Number 6. Their tails begin thick and taper gradually towards the end. Hanging low, the tail extends to the hocks, ideally reaching but not surpassing them. When relaxed, the tail hangs down, often level with the back, and during activity, it forms a smooth unbroken line, sometimes slightly above the back. Number 7. As per the American Kennel Club standard, these French Mastiffs can be disqualified from confirmation shows if they have an undershot mouth, a knotted or twisted tail, white markings outside specific areas like the fore chest, throat, and toes, or if their coat color differs from shades of fawn. Number 8. These dogs are quite intelligent, yet they can also be independent and possess a strong will. Training them consistently and firmly is crucial to establish boundaries and ensure they listen. Using rewards and praise can make training much easier. Number 9. These dogs are experts when it comes to guarding people and properties. They're naturally watchful and have a talent for protecting their families and homes. With their loyalty and determination, they're not just good pets but formidable guardians capable of deterring intruders. Number 10. Not every dog de Bordeaux is welcoming to another dog of the same sex, and some might also lack tolerance toward the opposite sex. Certain individuals may also exhibit a strong inclination to chase and capture cats and other small creatures. Number 11. When these dogs get bored, they might get mischievous. They require activities to engage their minds and bodies to stay content. If they lack enough playtime or mental stimulation, they might resort to breaking things or destroying the furniture to pass the time. Number 12. If you're considering getting a dog de Bordeaux, keep in mind that they're known for drooling quite a bit. Their loose jowls and lips tend to accumulate saliva, so keeping towels handy might be a good idea. Number 13. Be prepared for a lot of snuffling, wheezing, grunting, and loud snoring with the Bordeaux. These guys are brachycephalic, which means they have a short nose, giving their face a squashed appearance. As a result of this facial structure, these dogs tend to breathe very heavily, resulting in a lot of noise. Number 14. Generally healthy, the average lifespan of a dog de Bordeaux typically ranges from about 6 to 10 years. With ample care and affection, many of these dogs can enjoy more fulfilling and extended lives. Number 15. Although generally robust, the Dog de Bordeaux, similar to any other dog breed, is prone to a few health issues. Some potential health concerns for this breed include hip and elbow dysplasia, eyelid abnormalities, skin problems, bloat and cancer, warranting attention and care. Number 16. The breed is also prone to certain heart conditions, including dilated cardiomyopathy. This condition affects the heart muscle, reducing its ability to efficiently pump blood. As a result, some dogs may develop heart murmurs due to stretched valves creating leaks, while others may experience an irregular heart rhythm. Number 17. Another heart condition affecting these dogs is aortic stenosis, where the opening of the aortic valve in the heart is too narrow. This might hinder their ability to exercise, leading to fainting during physical activities or even sudden death. Researchers have identified a higher risk of this issue in the breed, especially among younger dogs. Number 18. The breed can also face breathing difficulties due to its brachycephalic head impacting its tolerance to heat and exercise. As per the FCI standard, excessive shortness of breath and raspy breathing in the Bordeaux are regarded as serious faults. 
Number 19. One genetic health concern seen in the dog de Bordeaux is focal non-epidermolectic palmoplantar keratoderma, leading to hereditary foot pad hyperkeratosis. This condition manifests as tough, thick, and cracked foot pads affecting around 5% of these dogs. Number 20. These guys face a notably higher rate of stillborn and early neonatal mortality compared to other dog breeds. As per the 2012 study titled Canine Perinatal Mortality or Cohort Study of 224 Breeds, the Bordeaux exhibits a stillborn rate of 14.2% and an early neonatal mortality rate of 10.4% within one week from birth. In contrast, the average rates for all breeds in the study were 4.3% for stillborns and 3.7% for early neonatal mortality. Number 21. With a lineage stretching back centuries, the dog de Bordeaux is believed to have descended from ancient, mastiff-type dogs. These versatile canines served roles in hunting, guarding, and even warfare thanks to their remarkable strength and size. Number 22. Originating from the Bordeaux region in France, these dogs were primarily bred for safeguarding various properties, including estates, castles, and vineyards. Their duties extended to protecting livestock, pulling carts, and assisting in hunting large game. Number 23. Throughout the Middle Ages, the Dog de Bordeaux gained favor among the French aristocracy and nobility. Valued for their formidable stature, strength, and protective instincts, they were prominently utilized in boar and bear hunting, alongside being participants in the unfortunate sport of dog fighting. Number 24. Despite their prominence, the breed encountered turbulent times during the French Revolution and both world wars. The population faced a considerable decline, endangering their existence. However, a committed group of enthusiasts worked tirelessly to revive the breed. Number 25. In 1863, the Dog de Bordeaux received official recognition from the French Kennel Club, which also marked the establishment of its initial breed standard. Over time, the breed's popularity expanded beyond France to numerous corners of the globe. Number 26. During the 1960s, French breeders, led by a French teacher, Raymond Triquet, focused on rebuilding the breed's foundation. A new standard was set in 1970 and later updated in 1995, laying the groundwork for the AKC standard introduced in 2005. Number 27. These guys arrived in the US in the 1890s, initially for the show ring, but they gained wider recognition in the 1980s. Dr. Carl Semon's 1982 article on the breed in Dog World magazine and the movie Turner and Hooch in 1989 played pivotal roles in increasing the breed's popularity in the United States. Number 28. The breed found its way to the UK in 1987, and by 1997, it gained official recognition from the Kennel Club. An interim breed standard was later accepted by the Kennel Club in 2001. The American Kennel Club also accepted the breed in 2008, largely due to significant contributions of the Dog de Bordeaux Society of America. Number 29. The Dog de Bordeaux has been attracting more fans globally, and the trend has extended to the US as well. In the AKC's 2022 Most Popular Dog Breeds list, they secured the 78th spot among 199 registered breeds based on total nationwide registrations. Number 30. If you're considering getting a Dog de Bordeaux puppy from a trusted breeder, expect to invest a significant amount of money. These pups typically range from $1,500 to $2,500, with exceptional show quality ones often priced at $3,500 or higher. Alright guys, now which of these Bordeaux facts surprised you the most? Please let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.